everyone, I'm Stephanie Essen. We have with us here our co-host and developer guide, Rajesh Hajela, and you're watching the Edge Innovation Series for Developers. Hey, Rajesh. Hi there. And for those of you who are new here, Rajesh is a newly hired AI developer at Intel, and we're following along with him as he gives us his perspective of what's out there and how it's helping him in his developer journey. So Rajesh, I'm interested in understanding more about you and where you're coming from. So tell us something about your past experience with AI. Yes, uh, before joining Intel, I worked in the field of healthcare AI on data analytics, building AI solutions and NLP systems based on real world data in the field of oncology research. Yeah, that's interesting. And I'm wondering if you've been able to apply any of your previous experience and knowledge around AI applications for healthcare use cases at Intel. Yes, uh, while learning more about OpenVINO, I came across a use case that assists taking medical images of kidneys and automatically segmenting them in clinical ultrasound images. It's a series of notebooks available on GitHub. The model was trained using PyTorch Lightning and optimized with OpenVINO Toolkit to get even better performance. You can see real-time segmentation of kidney CT scans running on my laptop. It creates a red-colored overlay of the kidney and these are 3D scans which we process as individual slices. Yeah, this is awesome and seems like it'd be really helpful for doctors who are, you know, diagnosing their patients. So you mentioned that this was a use case, but is there any product on the market today that uses these AI solutions? Yes, there is. Uh, the G Healthcare's Clinical Care Suite, which is an on-device AI solution, and its medical imaging is powered with OpenVINO. It helps to optimize, quantize, process 3D scans, and deploy models on edge devices. I imagine these solutions can be widely used for people to help them get treatment. And it's really cool to see OpenVINO as a player in the space. So you also mentioned quantization, and I wanna know more about that. Uh, Intel, you were telling me, has a tool to automate that process. So can you tell us more? Yes, uh, quantization is a way to bring inference efficiency and lessen the number of bits needed to represent information. OpenVINO's post-training optimization tool automates this process of quantization by converting model weights to a lower precision, which helps to make model representation more compact and leads to faster computations. Yeah, that sounds like a helpful tool and it's great to know about that. Um, it seems like an active research field and you were mentioning to me the other day about some new research insights around quantization with AutoQ. So can you tell us more? Yes, definitely. I recently came across AutoQ, an automated mixed precision quantization technique developed by Intel researchers. It is able to achieve an optimal trade-off between accuracy and performance using deep reinforcement learning without retraining the ML model. Yeah, this is super cool to hear about Ragesh. So thanks for sharing. I also have an announcement on the side for everybody. The latest version of OpenVINO 2022.1 has been recently released, and there's lots of exciting new optimizations around expanded NLP support, device portability on your hardware, and also higher inferencing performance. So Ragesh, thank you so much for joining in with me today. No problem. We also mentioned lots of resources that you can start utilizing today and some great use cases to read up on. So make sure you check out the links in the description. Ragesh and Steph signing off.